in this video, I'm going to show you a RFID ultra high frequency desktop tweeter. This tweeter is very tiny, very small, thin and suitable for a lot of desktop application. It is connecting to your computer via USB connection and the product is uh, ISO compliant. <coughs> In the box, we also supply the USB cable. So basically, this is a self-contained uh, package. You don't need to buy anything else to use the RFID reader with your uh, software, with your computer. Now this cable, as you see, that is long enough. So uh, it provides a uh, flexibility for you uh, to uh, co connect your device to V card. Now have a look on the case. Now this case is made of ABS material. The making is very professional. You will see the quality is good. Just a palm size. Very palm tiny. And you see the uh, detecting area is clearly defined. So uh, it's easier for you to read the card effectively and efficiently. Now basically this unit, you don't need extra power. You just want the USB cable that um, make your connection as simple. So now, let me try to connect to computer and see what is, um, what is happening and how this unit operates. Um, one beauty of this RFID reader is a demo, soft, a demo software is provided, so you don't need to buy anything else. And it's easier for you to test the function, functionality of the reader. Uh, in particular, we provide the source code of this reader. So if you are a developer, you can, uh, based on our uh, demonstration and the source code to develop the specific software you want. Now, so we open this software. Now, don't worry, this software is English and Chinese. It will be uh, automatically switchable. So if your Windows system is English, the interface of this software will be English when you open, when we open the software. And, you, and in reverse, if your uh, window is Chinese, the software interface is Chinese. So you will see that this uh, RFID reader is a plug and pay RFID reader. You don't need installing additional driver to make it work with your computer. Um, currently, this reader supports uh, any Windows system. So let's have a look how the software works. Now, after you connect the software, after you connect the uh, reader, install, uh, install the software and open the software, you should first connect the uh, reader uh, via the software. Um, for, this, um, for this reader, it's using USB, but actually it's an emulated CO, uh, COM. So um, from the point from your from your window system, you will see the RFID will connect to your computer white right com port. Okay, like anyway, like here I click USB, 
and then um, now you will see, you will see on this demo software, there are a lot of uh, parameter for the reader to be set. Uh, basically, you 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 can uh, skip anything. Okay, just uh, take all the default value. It's safe to use. But in case you want, you can explore more because we have incorporated as many parameters for the reader as possible. So as said, if you want, you can explore. As said, uh, if you want, you can explore more. But if you don't want, you just want to use it right away. Take all the take every parameters, the default value. It's so, so it's good enough. So now after be at, at 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 the lower part of the uh software is the uh message window. So from here you will see uh whether the um, reader has been connected to the software successfully, okay, or fail, whatever, okay. Now, so anyway, now click USB and click connect, and the soft, uh, the the reader will connect to the software. Like here, we have a choice here. What is it? It's the mode of the reader. What is the mode? There are two modes you can select. Now one is active mode. Active mode means you uh, kick, uh, you instruct the reader to read card from the software. Okay? So in this case, when you, uh, if you set, um, if you set um, the reader to active mode and you put the tag on the reader, there is no response because you want a kind of manual operation on the software to instruct the reader to read the RFID tag. Now, on the contrary, passive mode. Passive mode means you set the um, reader at a listening stage. So, um, whenever there is a tag put put on the um, RFID reader, that means the tag is within the detecting range of the reader. The reader will respond with the I with the ID of the tag transferred to the software and display on the screen. So these two modes you can uh, select from here. Now basically, uh, now for for the test here, we select passive mode first to make it easier. Set. Now, so now we go into another page of the software. This page, you can show how the card, how the RFID, how the RFID detect and with the ID and display the ID on screen. Like here, I have a screen, I have a small screen here. You can see the reader. Like put a tag. Now, now I have put the tag on a uh, listen mode, okay? Now, so when, uh, when the tag put on the reader, the card ID will display. Now, let me show you. Now, do you see now? The tether now, the ID now display. Okay. Now, this reader, um, as said, uh, we mentioned it as a reader, but this is for sim simplicity only. 
Actually, this reader is also a writer. You know, ultra high frequency text can be read and write, right? Now, so this reader, in addition, you can read RFID text, you can also write. So here, I, 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 I'm going to demonstrate how we can write the ID to a tag. Now, for this reader, we can do this. As said, this software is a quite competitive software, quite competitive demonstration software. Basically, it, it includes all the functionality and parameters for uh, control the RFID reader. <coughs> now, so here, now, now this line displays the original RFID. We just uh, read them from the, um, from the TED. And above it, there's another line. We can change the value. Now this line, the line above is the duplication of the line below, okay? Now, but now the, the, the line below is read only, but the line above is write, writable, okay? Now, so now I'm going to change the value of this ID and click right button to change the value of the ID. Now, let me show you. Now I change the value from line H to A0, okay? And press, press right. Now, okay, now do you see? The message uh, window below, scroll up, okay? And we see the operation. We see the instruction sent to the reader and also see the uh, reader respond back with a success um, message. That means that now the RFID change, uh, the, the ID of the TED change, okay? We have very successful. Now, so now, I try to read the card again, okay? Now, this time, I let it display up on the above window. There is a small window here that uh, display the line, the, the, the line of RFID tag uh, read. Now, so if there are more than one RFID tag, the line, uh, the display will scroll up, okay? This, this display line by line, okay? Now, so now, now you see the tag, now the ID has been changed to a zero, right? I have changed it before. I have, uh, but I, I I have changed it before using the uh uh white white function. Okay, like and 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 after it, you will see there are a few columns. One is the counts. Now for RFID, if you put the tag on the reader, the reader will read the tag continuously with uh, a defined time interval. Now, of course, this, this time interval is very short in, in, uh, in, in a scale of millisecond, okay? Now, so, now you see, in a very short period of time, the reader has been read eight times. Okay, now, but actually, if I still put the tag on the reader, you see, this time will increase continuously. Now, this is the characteristic of a RFID reader. When you, well, and, 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 in particular, in, and in particular, the passive mode. That means uh, if you put a tag on the reader, if you continuously read the tag, get the ID display on the screen. Now, but if you set the RFID reader on a active mode, um, it will not uh, display the ID like this because, as said, you want manual action to instruct the reader to read the tag. Okay, so this is two mode. Um, how using it um, is a de based, uh, it's definitely depends on your application. Now, so you see, now, I still put the tag about the reader. The can continuously increase message continuously displays on the message window and the indicator flashes, okay? 
because the RFID tag is in action. Uh, so, sorry, because the RFID reader is in action. So, uh, this is the um, RFID 